With the expiration of the service career of former Inspector General of Police, Mr. Solomon Arase, Nigerians, we are anxious to know who will be the next police henchman. Journalists at the Asorok Presidential Villa kept watch, knowing that it is a tradition for the outgoing police boss to bring his successor to the villa. And true to this, Mr. Solomon Arase was cited with AIG Ibrahim Idris entering the office of President Muhammad Buhari. When they came out, journalists throng at them. I want to formally introduce uh, my successor, uh, Acting Inspector General of Police, Idris Ibrahim. Uh, he's going to be in acting capacity until um, the police council they meet to confirm him. Uh, I want to see this opportunity to thank Nigerians for the cooperation that you have given to me while I served as the Inspector General of Police. By extension, I want to also appeal to you to give the same support that you gave to me to my, you know, successor. Uh, he's a younger man, so I'm sure that he, you know, uh, he he will be abreast with the contemporary policing issues. In his speech, the new IGP promised to ensure accountability while running the activity of the force. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, as my I just said, my name is Ibrahim Putridris. Uh, obviously, under our collective leadership, the Nigerian Police Force is going to be governed by recognized issues of ensuring that our streets, our neighborhoods, our communities remain safe. And we are going to do everything possible to ensure that we provide the best service. With the appointment of an AIG as the new police boss, the days of the DIGs are numbered. This is because President has it that when a junior officer is elevated to head the force, he retires his superiors. From the Asura Presidential Villa, I'm Ikaro Atta, ITV News Abuja.